Okay, hi there. Welcome to the fourth video in a short series looking at um, monopoly power in different markets and uh, the impact this can have on economic welfare and especially on consumers. In this fourth and final video in the series, let's work through for a few minutes five practice multiple choice questions uh, for each. When the moment comes, press the pause button to attempt the question and then we can go through the answers and the explanations together. Good luck. See how you get on with these questions. Question one, which one of the following is not a feature of monopsony? Please press the pause button. So which one is not a feature of monopsony? What do you reckon? Uh, well, we have four statements there and the correct answer is C. The reduced cost of purchases reduces profit margins. In fact, the reverse. Uh, monopsonists can use their bargaining power to bring down the cost of supply supply purchases that increases their profit margins. Good news for shareholders, if that's the case. Question two, which one of the following is a disadvantage of monopsony power? Again, please press the pause button. So which one of the following is a disadvantage of monopsony power? Four statements. The right answer is B there. Uh, supply chain businesses, if you're if you're a farmer or a grower, for example, supplying to a supermarket, they might use that bargaining power to drive the price that they pay to you down. That's going to lower your income and profits. Indeed, many supply chain businesses might have their commercial viability threatened by a monopsony power. Question three, which one of these is not an example of of monopsony power in markets. Have a go at this question by pressing the pause button. So which one of these is not an example of monopsony power? What do you reckon? I think the answer to this is D. First three are good examples of monopsony power, good applied examples. You can add those to your notes, in fact. D isn't monopsony, D is price discrimination. Cinemas charging a different price for tickets at different times of the day to see the same film is a cracking example of price discrimination. Two more questions to go. How are you getting on? Here's question four. If a dominant buyer of goods and services decides to exploit their power, what is the most likely effect on average costs and shareholder returns? Here, have you got this question, please, by pressing the pause button and then just press play when you want to go through the answer and the explanation. Interesting question. Dominant buyer, monopsony. What's the most likely effect on average cost and shareholder returns? Well, I think the answer is B. Average cost will come down. Uh, you see the cost of purchasing those raw materials, those supplies have come down. That brings down their variable costs, which will lower their average and marginal costs. And other things being the same, if you can visualise that diagram in video two, a fall in costs uh, will lead to a rise in supernormal profits. The returns to shareholders, perhaps in the form of extra dividends, are likely to go up. OK, four out of five done. Here's the last question, which is an interesting question indeed. Now, this is a slightly trickier question, so take a take a moment to think this through. Which is the correct order of the following four sentences to form a logical chain of reasoning to explain an effect of monopsony power? So you have four sentences. You essentially have to put them into one correct order, a logical chain of reasoning. Again, press the pause button and have a go at this question. What do we reckon? What's the order? What's the numerical order here? I think the answer to this, I might be wrong, but I think the answer is A. A monopsony has bargaining power when purchasing from suppliers. In theory, they can use this purchasing power to negotiate lower prices for raw materials and other inputs. Variable cost of production will therefore be lower, and this will lead to a decrease in marginal average costs. And then final consumers may benefit from lower prices, which will increase their consumer surplus. By the way, this will be a terrific logical chain of reasoning as an analysis paragraph in an answer. Well, there we go. That's four videos on monopsony. I think together they capture what I would teach to my students on monopsony. So I hope you found these videos useful. Uh, loads more stuff on the YouTube channel, of course. So take care and good luck with your studies.